Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils. Um, our technique for today is going to be using um, the pearlized paste, um, our stencil dimensions pearl white, and then showing you how you can get colour, um, not by using glitters or micas, but by using your beautiful inks, so your distress inks or your pigment inks, and being able to blend over the top um, to give you a beautiful colour depth. We hope you enjoy the technique. At the beginning of um, all of the videos, we talk you through our uh, tools and we've got our Sweet Poppy Stencil um, Spreader. We've got the A5 Magnetic Sheet, but you can use an A4 Magnetic Sheet if you want. Uh, we've got a palette knife and then we've got the low tack Stencil Tape and it's a proper stencil tape. So we're going to then be using the pearlized white. You could use um, the glossy white, but if you're using a pearl white, you're going to get a beautiful pearlescent sheen, um, and that is one of my favorites. We're then going to be using, um, this one is going to be, this is called Harvest. It's a collection of Versamagic uh, Dewdrop inks, and these are a chalky finish, so they are perfect to go over the top. You could use alcohol inks, you could use uh, dye base inks, you know, the idea is to experiment and play. Nothing wrong with you taking a little bit of acrylic paint, but use a very dry sponge and build up the colour of the inks. So, to start off with, let's show you how we apply the, the medium. So, we've got um, a 6x6 six six, um, and I've just cut a 6x6 six six, uh, piece of card out. Um, of a 300 GSM uh, card and then we've got the new one of the new beautiful um, squirrel stencils so we're going to place that onto our card and our magnetic sheet and as you can see I'm placing it sideways so this is the way I'm going to be coming if as I've said before if I come this way I'm going to hit this section along here it's going to creep under I'm going to possibly hit this section and it'll creep under. So if we go from side to side, we're going to get a nice smooth um, image. And the trick with this stencil is, as all of them, do not press and think you've got to force it um, under the, the uh, stencil. Uh, that's the last thing you want. So we're going low tack tape again, and we're just catching the edge of the stencil. So we're going one, let me move my spread right the way and then we're going to go down the sides there we go just making sure it's nice, uh, nicely stuck down so as always six pieces so one two one two down the sides make sure it's nicely stuck and when we spread we're going to be coming this way don't force it if you force it you're going to hit and you're going to be taking off more than what you leave on so our pearlescent white and as you can see it's a lovely creamy white the uh, bright white or the glossy white is a crisp bright bright white so always mix them before you apply them so one two and three nice big long strip so, with your spreader gentle across I've missed a section there so that's fine you take up and you dollop. Check over, you need to apply any more, just dollop it on. What we don't want you to do is keep on spreading and spreading. So we're going at a 45 degree angle in, our, um, in the middle and we're going to go gentle and across and up and that's it. It's as easy as that. You could do once more if you felt that you needed to. So, um, but that's it. I wouldn't do any more than that because you've let the spreader guide the thickness um, just by um, going across the stencil. So these are going to go into my water and as always wipe the rim of your pot and then lid on and nice and tight so the air doesn't get to it. So we're going to take off, so we do the sides, then we do the bottom and then we do the top. And then we're going to just tease it towards me a little bit. Hopefully it won't come out of shot, just towards the end. And this will help me pull off the stencil. So I'm pulling down the magnetic sheet and the card. And I'm teasing up 
the stencil straight off. That goes straight into water and then I'll clean that at the end of the project. So that's how you apply. So as you can see, you've got a beautiful slither of a stencil medium and the pearl white. And then what we need to do is we just pop it to one side and we let it dry. And I prefer, if I'm doing this technique, I prefer leaving it air dry um, because if you heat it with a heat gun, it will really bubble. So this is one I did earlier, about an hour ago, and I left it in a nice warm room. Um, and as you can see, it's lovely and dry. And this gives you the most amazing sheen. So onto our technique. Now, what I would normally do is I'd put it under something very flat because I want it back flat again. As you can imagine, the card has absorbed the moisture, so it's slightly warped. So that's fine, we can get away with that. So all I'm going to do is, I've, imagine I've already washed my stencil. I've got a, a clean stencil here now. So I'm going to just slot it over the body. There we go, I think we're in there. And then onto magnetic sheet and just make sure that I've got all the areas covered. Lovely, perfect. So, my first tape. As you can see, the card is pushing up the stencil. Now, if you left it under a flat book, it would flatten your card and it would be a lot easier for you to um, apply your stencil back on. The magnetic sheet's gonna help us slightly. Anyway. So we're just masking off and I'm just securing it and making sure that it doesn't slip out. It's a little bit hard from not looking over the top of it. There we go, it's shimmying back in. And it's worthwhile just spending just a couple of seconds just to get it back in. Lovely. Okay. So once I've got my bases on, then I can really give it a good press. So we're going all the way around. And all the way around. So it's lovely and secure. Fabulous. Okay, now I want to anchor it to my table, so I'm just going to do a nice big wide strip. And I'm happy with that. That's in position, that's going nowhere. There we go. I can reuse this tape as well because it's going to be um, only inks on top. I'm making sure it's stuck down to my card really, really well because I want to get a good um, coverage of ink. So I bring in my inks. So I've got um, the harvest set, but I've also taken a little red out of um, the clown in the round collection. And I love these um, pigment inks because all the hard work's already thought of out for you. Um, you know what colors you can use. So let's just, let's go in with some greens. Let's have a little play. So help yourself by pressing down and you're just going to start blending. And as we've said before, um, you can mask off areas if you want to be really precise, but I think because this is very much an autumn scene, it, it takes the blending for you. So it really does work well. So we're just applying bit by bit. Now again, the same as um, when we did the microbeads technique, do recommend doing layers. So if you keep on inking over the same area, all it's going to do is it's going to take off the inks that you've already just put on. So you need to build up your colors bit by bit by bit. So let's pop that to one side. Let's take a little bit of brown because it's quite an intense color. And it's not until you take off the image at the end that you really see the effects that you really get. Let's do the squirrel. And we're just giving one base colour first. There we go. And I'm gently and I'm going to take off a little bit and apply. So you're building up your colours as you go. 
and I'm helping myself by holding the stencil down with my fingers as well. At the end of the day, it's a bit of ink on your fingers, it's not going to hurt you. They're all water based. So, moving on. And then we're going to start coming in with some colours. So, let's go with a little bit of the oranges. And we're building up bit by bit. And it's, you're better to take a little bit of time. This is a lovely technique because you can really take, you can take days doing it if you wanted, you know, just to get your colours. I'm just going to apply a little bit, it being a, a red squirrel. moving it around as you can see you can use any um, blending tool if you want it's whatever you're you're comfortable you know whether you want to use brushes sponges I'm using the little smoothie sponges they are a favorite of mine at the moment um, if you've got dexterity problems then go with the bigger ones I'm using the mini ones um, but I do find the big ones very very good as well um, and again these are all available on our website um, www.sweet-poppy.com um, but that will be at the end of the credits for you so we're just applying and we're moving it and applying and trying to blend in some colour and you're better as I said add bit by bit by bit by bit by bit so I'll remove this in a second I'm just going to go in with a little bit more of the mustardy colour and go over the leaves as well just so that gives us this, this colouring. Who's to say what colour it's meant to be? It's, it's all in your eye. We're just stippling motion all the way over until we're happy. And as I've said, you're better off to leave it dry and then do another colour, leave it dry and do another layer and another layer and build up these layers until you're happy because all I'll end up doing is I'll remove what I've already done. So let me just go in with the brown once more. And let's see what effect we get. enough it's quite surprising it's not until you take it off that you see the effect that you've got okay move the inks out the way so we don't get any fingerprints everywhere I'm well known for getting fingerprints and then we take off our tapes and this will wash off with uh, warm soapy water use a little nail brush over your stencil as well because this one's a very sharp stencil um, and you want to get all the ink off it Go. last one off there we go how beautiful is that so as you can see just flatten them out a little bit and there we go and there's our beautiful ink base of our stencil and you can go in if you're not happy with the amount of color that you put on you want to add more just replace the stencil pop a clean one on and then add some more color to it and that is how we do our inking techniques on top of our um, sweet poppy paste. I hope you enjoyed our technique and I hope you can join us for our next one. Thanks.